Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps the channel a lot. Welcome back to the, the series. Uh, if you missed last episode, we uh, built uh, Corala Farms and it is out over in the distance over here. And in today's episode, we are going to do two things. We're going to continue building out the farm a little bit and then we're going to look at our road connections in the city and then do some highway management. And look at upgrading some roads and uh, helping out the regional traffic okay so um i lied first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do a really small thing here which i think is going to be uh beneficial to the whole region we're going to uh get a pathway right here well beneficial to the whole region just this area uh, we're just going to get a pathway just like that um and we will just bring this back ever so slightly so it looks like it's part of the road there. And I know we just built houses over there, but um, too bad. <laughs> I, I, think, I just think it'll be really uh, neat to have uh, some pathways right here. And, oops, excuse me, but here we go. Um, and I think this is a good opportunity to kind of improve the connectivity right here. And then we're just gonna detail around here very, 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 very quickly. Um, and let's use these large trees that we were using before. Um, that is not a large tree. <laughs> and we're just going to get uh, a couple of these trees in here. So do that. Perfect. And then we'll get uh, one right here and here on both sides. And we'll get one more on either side. All right, so that will kind of help fill in that area. Uh, very nice. I'm going to leave the waterfront for another day, but I just wanted to complete that little uh, build that we started from a previous episode. And we do have lots of residential demands. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to look at where we have space to improve our residential capacity. And it's right here. So I'm just going to zone that in uh, very basically. And over here. And then to just help out, uh, we will continue with some commercial out over here as well. Um, we are probably gonna need a park out this way. So I'm just gonna use, uh, let's do something a bit different. Uh, I don't know if the soccer field fits in here, that'd be nice. Uh, it kind of does. I don't think this is the right spot for it. Um, let's just make it, let's just keep it simple. And we will add in dog park right here uh, actually let's let's forego this we'll let's let the zone in and then we will do something about that at a later date because I just told you what I wanted to do this episode and we haven't even done any of it yet <laughs> all right so we'll connect up like that and then we'll do the same thing over here and I think we'll be good for the rest of that zoning all right, so uh, we were we left off last time with this flour mill here, and the reason I left it is because I wanted to do a bit more detailing around it. Plus, we need a bit more jobs over here, so uh, I believe that by getting a another flour mill right like this, looks like it's the same complex, and then we can also look at getting in another parking lot if it fits. Looks like it will. Nice. Um, and then one thing we should probably do over here is make this road. Ooh, so this is the road that makes that fun connection. Let's just delete that, pause the game because I don't want that bus to disappear. And we will go over here. Perfect. Ah, there we go. That's fun enough. And then I'm sure if I just place that one. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, and we'll do the same thing right like that. Okay. So we can also look at detailing this little spot a bit. Uh, so small beech tree. Got a couple of these in. And then we have an opportunity to do something with uh, behind there as well. But um, let's just move these to the end. go and let's also look at the spawn points on these buildings here so uh, let's actually just 
pull it back in. Thank you. And we'll do the same thing right here. Pretty much just pull it back in. Just like that. There we go. Uh, so it looks a bit nicer. It's a bit more like a complex. And we will look at getting in some more things at a later time. Uh, but we have a possibility of 390 workers. That is awesome. Um, but we need to encourage people to get out here, right? So what I'm thinking of doing is taking this bus line here and I'm going to add a stop. So I'm going to click, oh, click, drag to add a stop. There we go. And I'm just going to add in a bus stop. Um, yeah, we'll put it right here. So it will just have to swing around. That's fine. So uh, probably going to have to fix that by adding in a couple more buses on this route then. We have 13 buses now. And let's see how busy it is. It's not that busy, so I'm going to actually lower it back down to... We'll keep it at 10. Um, and might as well look at how uh, the other bus lines are doing right now. So we have three buses here. It's probably fine. Uh, it's a bit overkill, but the Queen Street line is the busy one. And uh, I think we'll leave it at 25. It seems to be working. We do have some people waiting at this bus stop right here. But we'll see how this bus works. Oh, none of them can pick them up. So I am going to add in two more buses. It's a very busy line. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, so... Um, what did I say we were going to do? Oh, look at regional connectivity because we're just waiting for this to level up, um, which we just need more workers and that's just going to take a bit, a bit of time, um, but that is fine. Okay, so let's look at over here. So looking at the industry area here, um, we are having some difficulty with the fact that there's only three ways into this area and two of them are on two different highways. So we're clogging up this, this intersection here. Uh, so one thing I'm looking at doing is I was thinking about getting another road connection through here, which is something I don't want to do because I don't want to clog up the rail network. Um, but we're kind of limited because of the geography here. One option we have is to connect over here and bring a road in over this way, but that is not ideal whatsoever. So something we can do instead is to look at this highway right here, Highway 19 and uh, extending it a bit. So we're going to take the four lane two way highway here and we're just going to look at adding in a lane and we're going to see how this works for now. I add in a lane up to here. Uh, this one should be an asymmetrical highway like that we're gonna confuse a bunch of people for now <laughs> but hey look at that we hit big town i didn't even realize that is great to see okay so we unlocked campuses we unlocked a new tile as well um and we unlocked a lot of other stuff including high density hey look, look at that offices as well that's that's great to see um post working facility that's always a favorite of mine um and we also unlocked some mass transit as well all right so the next milestone we need is 11,000. that's actually not that far away um, all right, so we, uh, something we can do right here is simply, I'm just going to show you how I kind of mark these lines up. Uh, so I'm just, I just hold shift down, and then, then, then that gives a straight line. Uh, oops. And we're going to do that. And over here, we're going to go to fillers. We're going to hit control, shift, F, and we're just going to fill this up with a simple chevron that works with me. All right, and then we'll look at detailing this one. And we're not gonna detail all of these, whoops. We're not gonna detail all of these um, uh, nodes that we're gonna be doing today, but I figured we should probably do a couple just to show off the intersection marking tool. Um, we'll just make this a solid line for now until about there and that one can be a dashed line um, all right and we also need to look at fixing in this section because they seem to be stopping 
and probably because they don't want to go through the node. So that tells me that there is an issue with this node. Yep. So we're just going to tell them to go through. And I missed something with the intersection marking tool. Now we're going to come right into here. We're going to go to fillers, hold shift or control shift F. There we go. And connect up these. Look at that. All right. So um, I'm hoping that that is going to help out with the traffic for now. Uh, we're also going to look at giving this area dedicated turning lanes. Uh, I don't think this one needs to be dedicated, but we'll get a dedicated lane right there and over here as well. And we'll look at just continuing this along up to here at least. Um, and then this needs to be an asymmetrical road. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and do a bit of a flippy flip. <laughs> that works with me. And I'm actually going to put this to three speeds so we can see the traffic move a bit faster. Um, and yeah, this is definitely clogging things up. So this tells me since this is a highway, uh, is we can just tell the highway to go through the, the node here. And this is going to definitely help or it's going to help solve the, the congestion issue we're having um, and this can also just go through lots of cars wanting to turn left here all right so something we can do in the future is look at oh look at this lots and lots and lots of traffic okay this is turning this has turned into like a Friday uh, traffic fix channel. <laughs> I'll tell them all to go through. And then I think what we need to do is look at getting another asymmetrical highway uh, right here. Oh, look at that. That is not clean whatsoever. Let's get segments here. I'm actually just going to hold alt and move that down. I'm going to auto save at the, same, at the worst top possible time. <laughs> um, and we'll get that to move down as well. Uh, straighten that out. And then I'm going to use node controller. There we go. And I'm just going to extend the node. That works with me. We can pull this one back a bit. I don't think this one needs to be that far. All right, and then this is a dedicated left, so there's not even a possibility that cars can go straight. So again, this is not the most realistic interchange, but it's very functional for the, the flow of this game. And kudos to Imperial Jedi for showing this in one of the Five Builders One Cities episodes, and I really like the flow of this, uh, so I wanted to, to use it in one of my cities. Um, let's just use the Alt tool to straighten this out, and I'm noticing that this is a bit wonky here, so I'm going to use the Node Controller here, and I'm just going to uh, align these, and then, whoa, okay, no, undo. There we go. So we have tons of traffic now coming over here and lots of traffic wanting to turn left. See, this is the crux of the issue is that we have so many cars wanting to get into the industry area. Um, so this is why we need some better connect uh, connectivity over here. And I also want to check to make sure that this is all okay. And it probably isn't because we've been switching things yet. So we're going to say that's a dedicated right. This is straight. This is a dedicated left here. Um, and yeah, this is another issue over here. So um, we'll go control S like that. There we go. And now the cars can choose which lane they want to get into. Oh, this doesn't need to be a turn right. This is just for the left. Oh, silly me. We didn't even need that. So we'll come back to our national road here. And I need to fix this. Probably yelling at me in the comments. 
<laughs> All right, so we'll delete that line. Doesn't even work. Okay, so that's straight through. Hey, look at that. Look at all those cars jumping around. Confusing everyone, aren't I? <laughs> Including myself. Um, all right, so we just need to do that. And I want them to be able to switch lanes here. Uh, but over here, it's already locked with uh, the turn lanes. Um, this doesn't need to be a dedicated, oops, a dedicated turn. This can both be straight. Yeah. Okay, so all that traffic disappeared because of the issues we were having. And I need to also look at extending, uh, adding in another lane over here. So since the city has grown so much, uh, we need to look at fixing some things, which was the idea. Um, look at that, it already did it. Um, we will do that. Pull this segment down a bit. Push this one back up. Oh, no. Okay, that works for me. As long as it's clean. And then we can pull this one all the way back. <laughs> there we go, that works. And we can also decorate this, uh, this one. Oop. Not even the right tool. There we go. Oh, come on. Uh, let's delete that. Okay, so we'll just hold shift down. Hold shift. Uh, that's fine. And then we're going to hold shift down for these ones. And right here as well. Do it again. Put it there. Right, and then we're gonna go to fillers here. I'm gonna hit Control Shift F. There we go. We'll fill this up with some chevron. And then we'll do the same thing. Sometimes it takes a little while. There we go. It is a great mod. I love this mod. Uh, all right, fantastic. So it looks like the cars are jumping around everywhere. So I'm going to uh, just give dedicated turning lanes. Oh, doesn't like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then this one's going to come into that lane. That lane. And they have one node to switch. So unfortunately, that is going to be a bit of an issue. But I think that's that'll be fine. And we have a dedicated turn lane here. So I'm also going to look at upgrading this one to four lanes. And then we'll get an asymmetrical road right here. So right off the bridge, come off, and then you choose to get into the dedicated left lane or not. So instead of using the uh, lane arrow, uh, the lane tool, we'll just use uh, the lane arrows here. So we'll hit Control Shift, or sorry, Control Click, um, and we also should probably look at getting uh, some dedicated turning lanes over here. All right, and then we're gonna just come back with our dedicated lane arrows. All right, so this should help out the congestion of the traffic in this area. And since we're over here doing this stuff, uh, we might as well upgrade uh, all the roads in the industry area. Oop, didn't mean to uh, upgrade one of those roads. That's fine though. All right, and we'll come down to here. And then we'll have to just redo that little bit. There we go. So I guess we can also look at just finishing off the upgrading of all the roads in the city. Uh, since it's probably about time that we have some proper roads. <laughs> all right, so that's all industry roads and now we're getting into normal roads. So I'm just gonna use the basic road for now. And all the places we haven't uh, we haven't finished yet, but uh, we should definitely look at getting in some dedicated lanes soon, and some tree-lined roads, for example. Uh, but that is probably for a future video when we're looking at beautifying the city a bit more. Right now, this is all about functionality, and it looks like we're probably going to lose some houses while we do this. All right. 
unfortunately, I think we'll have to pause here. And we will just use the picker mod to make sure we get the right bridge. And we'll just connect up with that. Look at that. Perfect. Um, tons of people are using this too on Laura Secord Way. Um, which is fantastic to see because there was too many people using this one, which wasn't ideal. Um, and I'm looking over here, we have tons more residential demand as well, which is interesting because we just zoned in a huge swath. But uh, today is a traffic management video, so we'll actually just slow it down. And we will look at... Oh, no. We just lost a bunch of zoning. That's okay, though. Um, all right, so let's come back over here. And we'll do that. We'll just make sure that everything's over here. Over here is good, too. So we're probably going to lose the houses over there uh, for now, but that is fine. Okay, so we got all the dirt roads. We got rid of all the dirt roads over there. And now we're looking... Uh, over this way. So, uh, interestingly enough, this is a four-lane road. Something I'm thinking of doing over this way is getting our tree-lined road here, and we're gonna bring this tree-lined road actually just up to here, and then we will connect in uh, like so. All right, and then we will come back over here with uh, traffic manager. We'll go. On. Oh, we already have a yield sign there. Nice. Uh, dedicated turning lanes, and we'll also come back through here with the node controller and just swing this one back a bit. I also want to make sure that these cars know that they can just go through the intersection. All right, so I know we just kind of got rid of all the zoning there, unfortunately, but that's fine. Changes the, changes things up a bit. Um, and so with that, kind of have our main street here, High Street. Uh, so if you've left a name suggestion for this road, because I know I, I mentioned it in a previous episode, uh, I'm recording ahead of time this week, so I haven't seen it yet, but I will see it for next week's episodes. Um, all right, so. Uh, let's also look at continuing the upgrades of these roads. So this is the only uh, large road we have in this on this area because we kind of uh, break down into smaller roads from probably what was the uh, older part of the city. And then we will look at just finishing the upgrades here. Alright, so I'm kind of thinking about the farm right now, and I'm sure that, oh man, all these cars just do some silly turnarounds. Um, we should be getting close to level 3 now, so we'll go check up on that after we finish this, and then we'll look at uh, the regional highways as well. Alright. quite the, the expense for the city, but I think we're fine to do this for now. Ta-da! All done. Perfect. Um, and let's take a look at how the farm is doing. So we just need a couple more workers here. Um, and that's probably because we don't really have anything out over this way. So I can look at getting in a bit of a residential development over here, uh, perhaps in a future video. Um, and maybe we can also look at getting some aid into the cattle farm area. So this, these are actually pigs. Um, I kind of like using cows. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take another dirt road right here. Actually, this is a good opportunity to use this. Alright, and then we're going to add in um, perhaps let's see, so this is just shy of 8. Okay, so we'll get our road right here. Kind 
don't think I'm going to keep that. But I just wanted to make sure that uh, another animal pasture can fit in here. No. Oh, I want one too short. Okay. That did it. Yeah, okay, perfect. Alright, so I wanted to use the cattle shed and place this right here. That'll help out a bit. And I'll actually just move this over and then I'll move this one down a bit. There we go. Perfect. Let's also look at upgrading uh, this road. And we will just do that. Alright, so that gave us a bunch more jobs, but not enough to push us over the, over the edge just yet. So I think we'll just have to wait for that kind of uh, that to happen. Uh, we could probably look at, I know we kind of mentioned it before, getting a bridge right here across, but. I mean, technically the highway would have come later and there would have been bridge access. But I also was looking at getting a bridge from right over here as well. And that'll help improve the connectivity of the industry area, perhaps on both sides of the, uh, the rail line. Uh, but we'll have to wait for that. Um, so this has turned out pretty nicely. It's, uh, it's really improved. I wanted to kind of leave it for a little bit to see uh, what would happen. And yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean. Coming up here and let's continue extending this into a four lane uh, highway. So I'm actually going to add sound barriers right here. I want to see what this looks like. Because, uh, yeah, you know what? I think that'll, that'll work. We're gonna lose the fencing here, so we'll actually just actually we won't mind because we're actually just using the sound barriers here. Aha! Look at that. So Corella Farms uh, reached level three. That is fantastic to see. We unlocked a unique factory as well. Um, all right, so we'll bring that out through here, and we'll just do that. And I know I just lost those intersection markings. I'm actually just going to uh, delete them and we'll come back to it at a later date or I'll do it off camera um, but uh, let's go I think we're good there uh, lane arrows let's do delete and then let's see how this works no so I don't want this one whoops I think we'll just have to do it manually. So I want this one to go into either one of these lanes. This one can go into either one of these. Uh, this is a dedicated right. Uh, this one can go into either one. Same thing here. And I think what we said before is this was just a slip lane. Um, can I just, ah, oh, come on. I just want to delete that one. <laughs> because I actually just want these ones to stay in their lane. Uh, that's okay, we'll just do it really quickly. And this one goes there. So I think they have space to change lanes. They, they do have space, okay. Um, and then this one can go into either lane. And then this is just a slip lane. Okay, perfect. Um, and I will actually have to use node controller here. And I'm just going to make them sloped. And I want to make this a middle node. There we go. Same thing right here. Slope it, middle node. And I think that was the only one that was like that. Yep. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to definitely look at adding in a four lane road over here. So this the thing about this though is it's a bit tricky because it's so tight, but it'll give a dedicated lane. And we also need to make sure that there is no traffic light. Oh, I want this one. There we go. 
Uh, I'll come back and look for traffic lights at a later date. And we also need to get a four lane road right here. And we'll remove the traffic light from here. This is a one way, right? It is, okay. Interesting. I mean, it works, right? So uh, anyway, so let's go back over here. We're looking at four lane roads. We need another four lane connection over here. I'll come back and fix the traffic lights after the video. Um, and hmm, so this is the only way into this town. Perhaps we can get a, another connection over here, but also perhaps not. Uh, let's come back here with node controller. And I'm just going to move this one back. Oh, come on. Let's move green. There we go. And that one can't really do anything. <laughs> Same with that one. And I think we're fine. I'm probably going to look at upgrading this one to uh, a highway with sound barriers. Okay. Um, and then we're over here now. This works. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. <laughs> um, let's just upgrade this whole street. There we go. And let's get some dedicated lanes. And also make sure that they can just go through on this side. Actually, I think this is a bit too uh, long of a node. I, think I need to bring this closer. Okay, so I'm noticing a bit of uh, lane changing where there shouldn't be. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to uh, lock in this node. So they have to choose their lane before that. And then I'll also do the same thing right here. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so uh, I know we're running out of, out of time for today's video. And holy moly, the traffic. A lot of this is because these cars want to turn around. So one thing that I've noticed that works when you notice that issue, especially if you're using the 81 tiles mod, is try to find out where those cars are coming from. So what they're doing is they're coming from over here, which is off the map. And you can just make a little, it's, it's a little stupid, but it works. Take a highway ramp. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use the freeformed road and we're going to make it like as clean as possible, but it's really not really hard to make this look clean um, <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a little silly bridge and we're gonna turn around right like this and then we're gonna come back down I don't know, we'll just come back down a bit farther like that and we're just gonna make sure that they can go both directions Yeah, so what's happening is that cars are spawning in. We had this issue on our last map. So this car is spawning in and it's saying leave the city. So what we're going to do here is we're going to lose a lot of the through traffic because these cars aren't even coming in, to, like going across the map, which I, you know, I would think that if they came in this direction, like their, their code would say like, you need to leave on the other side of the map. Um, but you see, they, they don't always have that. So this is going to help limit traffic on silly parts of the city, and especially on intersections like that. Let's just find one more car that's going there. So Carol Mason is doing the same thing, just leaving the city. And if we click uh, this road here, we're going to see lots of cars are doing that. But the rest of them are coming over here, following the highway the entire way, and then wanting to turn left, um, which is good because they want to come into the city, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a bit of a different type of interchange. And this is going to help out this traffic quite a bit. Uh, so we're going to go ground level here. And we're just going to add slip lanes. That's it. And just by doing that alone is going to help out tremendously. So for some reason it's not letting me snap onto this node. There we go. Um, 
Let's go right to here. I'm gonna come back and make sure that everything's okay afterwards. That works. And I'm so what I'm hoping is just these slip lanes alone are going to greatly improve the flow of this area. I'll come straighten that out momentarily. And this is too far anyways. So uh, we'll just do that. And then we'll connect in over here. A bit of winky wonky, but <laughs> that's fine. I also didn't want, uh, this is the busy one, so I didn't want to have too many nodes in this, uh, this area. Um, anyways, so uh, what we need to do is we need to come into traffic manager here. And we just need to do this pretty much. Just say, Make sure they can go in both directions. You can also add um, extra lanes and stuff, which we will do as well. Um, and these these ones I want to go straight and left. Um, actually, I'm just going to actually delete that because we're going to uh, make these asymmetrical. I know this is a bit longer of an episode, but I hope you don't mind. Okay, so we'll do that. That's good. That's good. We're good there. All right, and now we need to come in here with our dedicated turning lanes. And we just need to do this again. That's good. And over here. make sure that they can go in every direction. Uh, do, 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 do. One more. All right, so uh, we don't need... Here we go. Okay, we don't need them to turn right. So this is gonna be straight, the left. So no right, straight, left. No right, straight, left. There we go. So now there's uh, cars can pile up into their correct lanes over time. And then we also want to make sure that uh, they can't go through. I want them to kind of stick around. And then we need to add junctions. So we have a stop sign on this side. Uh, perhaps we just make them yield signs. Now I do not mind if they go through in these junctions. So we'll do the same thing. So we should probably also look at getting an asymmetrical road right here. All right, so we're gonna have to just come back and fix this again. So we'll come in right here, control S, and then I actually like this over here, but I wanna make sure that there's nothing there. I like that they can both go straight and right over here, so they can kind of clog in this lane. And then something else we can look at doing is backing this up a bit farther. And we'll have to just come back for the fourth time <laughs> and do that and lock that in. All right, so this way there is more cars. And what I want them to do is I want them to know where they're going first. So I'm actually going to lock in the nodes a bit farther down. So what I'm doing here is I'm just saying you can't lane switch. So all the cars like lane switching um, at nodes. It's the only place they can. So what I'm saying is you come in right here, you got to choose your lane. And then we might as well also uh, upgrade that as well. And we'll take this one down to the bridge.
There we go. And we'll just come back for the fifth or sixth time today and make sure that this has... Actually, sorry, I like that. Um, and I just want to make sure that they can go through this, this node. Yep. And then go through that one too. Okay, so that, now they can pile up. Let's just make sure that we lock in at least one, one node in front. So we do have a ton of traffic here. And this is going to be a issue for the majority of the the game <laughs> but uh, that is the idea so uh, we're gonna slowly fix the traffic over time uh, as the region progresses but this would be the first logical step in doing in doing so adding slip lanes um, and making it so that cars aren't turning right getting getting in each other's way so uh, a traffic light would probably be best um, but we'll see how the, just the basic one works for now and we'll look at getting in a uh, time traffic light at a later date, but it doesn't seem like the cars are really respecting the traffic light <laughs> Especially this one Maybe it'll work maybe it won't we'll see because uh, the cars are just backing up like crazy here perhaps what we need is uh, To make this into a full highway junction with an overpass and everything like that So we'll see how that works at a later date. We do have more intersections to look at in the future um, as well, that one and this one. Uh, this one's crazy. Holy cow. So, uh, holy, holy cow. All right. All right. So, perhaps we have a Traffic Monday video as well. <laughs> um, this is uh, this is interesting. I like it. So, uh, without further ado, everyone, um, hope you have a great day. Let's see. What did, what did we do in the city today? We kind of completed this area, didn't we? I think we did the last time um anyways let's just get a nice screenshot of the city like this and we'll end the video peace out <laughs>